Okay, so this is part two because I ran out of time. Uh, 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 uh. All right, that's it for the shenanigans. All right, so we're talking about putting on and taking off a, a custom short custom unit. This case is a little pixie that I made. This unit is now over a year old, made by yours truly, Kanisha Fairy Hair Mother. Uh, I will leave all the information in the bio if you are interested in ordering a Kanisha Fairy Hair Mother unit. I can certainly arrange that for you. So anyhow, now we're talking about the back, and then I'm gonna get into product, what I like to use in the hair to get it styled. So I'm gonna move quickly with this video because I don't want the time to run out again. Okay, so let's talk about the back. All right, so we're looking at the back right now. How to get it to lay nicely. First of all, when you put it on, you should bring the unit all the way as far down, excuse that little sound there, as far down as you can against the neck. It should be laying nicely, you're already clipped and secured, right? Yeah, you are. So what you wanna do is if you have nails or if you have a comb, everyone has a comb if they don't have nails, Rake through the hair. Rake through the hair until you feel, see I'm a stylist so I can feel this, but you may not be a stylist, so you might wanna use a comb. I mean, duh. You wanna use a mirror and look in the mirror and rake through this so that this has a nice look against your neck. You don't want your hairline all the way up here, that looks crazy, and you don't want it way too long because it will flip. So you want it just right against your neck, okay? Which is what I do here, all right? Kind of against the neck. And if you have a little hair, it's like I happen to have, kind of, I don't like shaving my neck. I usually, you know, edge control it. Uh, you can use a cream of nature edge control or you can use a design essentials edge control, which I love, the shea butter, just saying. And slick your hairs up so that they're not in the way or you could just simply get them trimmed. And then you lay it against your neck. How do I keep this from flipping? Stay tuned. I will show you what I use. All right. I am a super fan, super de duper fan of Designs Essentials Formations Finishing Spreads. Love it. So this is what you wanna do. The sides and the back tend to flip. You wanna avoid that. You spray a couple of spritzes on the corners and pinch or massage this down where it still looks natural, but it's lightweight. It's not sticky at all. See, there's no stick happening. Same thing there. And this is when I style around the perimeters. Same thing there. See how that's looking really nice? The back. And what I do is kind of just shape around the hairline, the back. When you are done, if you are getting ready, wrap a bandana around these perimeters while you get ready or do your makeup or take a shower while you're wearing your wig. And then when you remove your um, your bandana, this should be laying nice and flat. But make sure it's